Nigerian doctor betrayed Ike Kwere Mado as lawyer reviews how ex deputy Senate president got in trouble. This is really very sad. If you hear this, you'll be sorry for Ike Kwere Mado's family. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. One of Nigerian's lawyers, Emeka Ogonye, has reviewed how the former Deputy Senate President of Nigeria, Ike Kuremado, got in trouble through his greedy doctor, Obina Ubeta. Barrister Ogonye reacted after Ike Kuremado, his wife Beatrice, and Dr. Obina Ubeta was sentenced to jail in the United Kingdom on Friday over the organ harvesting saga. News Flash Nigeria had earlier reported that Ike Koremado was sentenced to jail in the United Kingdom for nine years and eight months. The 60 year old Nigerian senator, his wife, and a medical doctor, Obina Ubete, was found guilty of conspiring to bring a market trader in Lagos to the United Kingdom, UK for the purpose of investing his kidney for the use of the politician's 20-year-old doctor, Sonia. Ike Koremado's wife, Beatrice, 56, was handed four years, six months jail term, while the doctor involved in the case of organ trafficking got a 10-year jail, jail term with his medical license suspended. However, Emeka Ogonye, Nigerian lawyer, revealed some little details that citizens did not know about in the Ike Kwere Madu's case. Barrister Ogonye said the organ victim, David Opo, Juan Mini, did not know which human organ was called a kidney during the interview by the UK doctors. He said the UK doctors who interviewed David did not and could not have determined that a crime was committed and the doctors did not have sufficient information to reach such a conclusion. But Ike Koremado and Dr. Obina started the problem while attempting to return David to Nigeria. According to Barrister Emeka, Ike Koremado paid 4.5 million for David Obina to pay David, but Dr. Obina only paid David 270,000 and pocketed the rest. Ogwonyi narrated David Okbo Wamini is a 21 year old Lagos street hawker who was to give his kidney to Ike Koremado's in London when he was interviewed at the hospital in London. They asked him if he knew he was to donate his kidney to Sonia. Ike Koremado. He first told them that he had no money to donate. They explained to him that it was his kidney that he was to donate. He asked them what was kidney. Initially, the doctors thought it was a question of language since David's English was not good enough. However, they eventually understood that David did not know which human organ was called the kidney. In other ways, he did not know what organ he was to give Sonia. That led to doctors to conclude that the procedure was not well explained to David, and that is the number one requirement by law. According to the law, you must explain to the organ donor the procedure and all the health risks associated with the procedure. It is, it is only then that the donor is taken to have a firmly consented when the doctors found that David did not understand what he was about to get involved in, they declared him a mismatch. The term mismatch is a technical genetic language to indicate that the purpose organ harvesting has not met all the requirements. Many in Nigeria have misunderstood the term mismatch. In this case, to mean that David's kidney was not 
suitable for Sonia. No, there was nothing wrong with David's kidney to donate an organ. The fact must match both the law and the science governing the procedure. Why the kidney matched the scientific requirement, the fact did not match the legal requirement, so it was declared a mismatch. To help you understand it better, the term mismatch means there is a misdescriptions. The doctors who interviewed David did not and could not have determined that a crime was committed. The doctors did not have sufficient information to reach such a conclusion. Then, they felt all comfortable with the discrepancies in the information they had about the donor and his de decisions and whether he had made up his mind. For instance, the doctors did not get involved in how David was brought to them or whether he was paid. It was not their duty to deal with that. It was actually when Ike Kuremado and Dr. Obina attempted to return David to Nigeria that the problem started. David expected that he would be given a job in London as he was told before he left Nigeria. They did not give him a job and they did not send him to school. Instead of all he was promised, he was asked to prepare to return to Nigeria and David ran away from the house where he was kept as Onga wired him. He reported himself to the police to win the immediate protection of the police. He lied about his age by telling them he was 15. It was when he was interviewed by the police that information came out which established that a crime was committed, for instance. It was at the police station that they asked him if he was paid money and he said yes, he was paid 270000 when the police checked the WhatsApp chat between Ike Koremado and Dr. Obita, they realized that Ike Koremado actually paid $4.5 for Obita to pay to David, but Obita only paid David 270000 and pocketed the rest. In fact, Ike Koremado tried to keep himself away from certain details of the deal. That was only Ike Koremado never discussed money with David. In fact, he did not deal directly with David. That was what made it possible for Obita to cheat him. Ike Koremado believed that the 4.5 million went to David. But since he was not dealing with David directly, he had never knew that Obita pocketed most of the money. However, the law viewed Ike Koremado's decision not to deal directly with David as a tropical behavior of a big man who knew that he's getting involved in a crime. He would usually try to create some distance between himself and the crime, yet he will be funding the crime from, from afar. Otherwise, how come you never wanted to meet the boy that is giving his kidney to your daughter? And when and whom you called a cousin to your doctor, which actually makes him your nephew, rather than seeing the non-direct telling as an evidence of his innocence. It was seen as deliberate or willful ignorance aimed at invading legal responsibilities. One of the key factors that worked against Ikeko Remado was that he lied on three official documents he signed. He stated that David was Sonia's cousin, but in all the WhatsApp chat he had with the doctor and his own brother over the matter, he referred to David as that guy. Hence the question, you knew he was that Sonia's cousin. Why you signed that he was her cousin? When you wanted to say the truth, you referred to him as that guy, meaning you did not know him or even remember his name. Ike Koremado admitted in court that he lied and apologized. Note, I decided to provide these details because I have read somewhere it was being said that David misled Ike Koremado and took advantage of him. No, David is a real victim. He did not manipulate them. He was manipulated by Dr. Obina Obeta, who was working for the Ike Koremado. Nigerians, you've all heard it now.